So we haven't tested this one, really? The 1860? It's like the mask. This is the healthcare mask. This is the mask that was selling at the peak of the pandemic for like $9 a mask. This is the one that they disinfected. The one that the US government spent $400 million on these disinfectant trailers, that they would disinfect these. And they only disinfected like 100 of them. So it was like, if you did the math, they paid $20 a mask to disinfect them, which is ridiculous. But it's a great mask. Most people who are making N95s are looking to copy this mask. I think the Aura is a better mask though. That's like an improvement. All right, we'll let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We are doing the N95 test on this 3M 1860 N95. This is a surgical grade respirator. It's like top of the line, the beginning of the pandemic. This is what everyone is looking for. 3M's crazy with their process. Like, look at how detailed this is. They've got the lot number printed on the mask. This is so much work. Like, we don't do that, too much work. That, that is an option as, uh, when you get your TC number, when you, when you get your number from NIOSH, you can optionally do that. So much work, but just shows like how great of a process they have. I think this is made in China, this one, the 3M 1860 N95. Like I said, it's the gold standard of masks. Can't believe we haven't tested this. This mask smells like the inside of a 3M cardboard box. It's really tight for me, but that's giving you that seal that you want. Like if, if this is like developed for, you know, preventing against uh, Ebola outbreaks and stuff like this, you would see people, you see the, the infectious disease doctors wearing this mask. And does that show on the test here? 98.98%, 84.2 Pascals. That's a great mask.